All right, in this tutorial, we're gonna take a little break and just do a couple of things that are fun. Maybe a little bit useful, maybe not, but we can do them because we can. So here's an example of what I'm talking about. I'm gonna to go to the mix window, so that's Apple equal to bring that up. And most people know that if you hold down Option, Apple, and do M, you can actually change the width of the mixer there. And if you don't remember the key command, you basically just go here and you toggle the narrow mix. Now what a lot of people don't know is if you hold down all three keys and do Control, Option, Apple, and you click on the LED levels, that they also go wide too. And that actually still works even when you toggle in and out of narrow mix. And if you want to go back to the normal width of those level meters, it's Control, Option, Apple again, and you just click right on that level meter. Now something that was introduced in 7.3 was a way for coloring our mixer strips. So if we go up to the Windows menu, and choose the color palette, what we're able to do here is of course color our tracks and color our regions, but if you hold down Control Option Apple and you click anywhere on the color palette, it turns on the coloring and you can see that coloring bleeds through on the channel strips and in the edit window it actually bleeds through right here in the track headers. So if I hold those three buttons down, Control Option Apple, I click and drag up and I click and drag down, I can actually adjust the saturation of those colors. So if you want it to be really painfully obvious, then you can have it set like this. For me, I like just a, a little kiss of color. Right about there feels right to me. And if you don't like color at all, of course you can hold down Control Option Apple and just click on the palette and it'll all go away. So just a couple of um, little useful tips for the mix window that are kind of fun to do.